Today in History. You're listening to Morning Special live, and it is Monday morning, April 21st, and our journey to the past will continue today. That's right. We are going to check out uh, three events, as a matter of fact, but first I have a quiz question, and here it is. The word kindergarten comes from, number one, Germany, or number two, France. The question one more time. The word kindergarten comes from number one, Germany, or number two, France. If you know the answer, please text it in on your cell phone, pounder sharp 1045 for 51, or you can leave your answers on our Bondi board, and you could win a Yugi Nong Sanshi. That's right. And there are many things that have happened on this very day throughout the history, but mainly we're going to be focusing on three items, but we could actually cover one more story if time allows later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here's the list. Today in history. In 753 BC, Rome was founded. In 1782, Frederick Frobel, creator of the kindergarten, was born. And in 1960, Brasilia, capital of Brazil, was officially inaugurated. Okay, let's begin today's journey with the founding of one of the most renowned cities in the world. Indeed, it was on this day in 753 BC that Rome was said to have been founded by the legendary brothers Romulus and Remus. Ah, the legend of the founding of Rome says that the city was founded by these two brothers raised by a she-wolf. Uh, we're actually we're showing the picture on Point and Radio right there. Mm. That's a huge wolf right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the name of Rome is often considered to refer to Romulus. After Romulus founded the city, he created legends and legends, I'm sorry, and the Senate. Of course, as it is with many founding myths, the story of Romulus and Remus is more of a legend than fact, and there are many discussions regarding the matter. Uh huh. Well that includes the date, as it is speculate that speculated that the year could differ by about 30 years. Well, nevertheless, April 21st is considered as the symbolic date when the city was born. Rome, as many of us know, was one of the epicenters in world history. From monarchy to republic and empire, Rome has been one of the major contributors to modern society. Mm. And among those contributions, we have, of course, the Roman alphabet, as well as mass entertainment, such as the event that took center stage in the famous Coliseum. And probably one of the most widely spread contributions and still in use is our modern calendar. That's right. Well, for instance, the Julian calendar, invented by the famous Julius Caesar, had a regular year of 365 days, divided into 12 months with a leap year every four years. Union right. mm-hmm. mm. Now, we also owe Rome the name of the months. For instance, April comes from a prior, mm. which means open and refers to the blossoming of spring. Ah, 그렇군요. 이제 로마어를 사용하게 돼서 이 April 하면 a prior에서 온 것이고 원래 뜻은 열다라는 뜻을 가지고 있네. 아마도 봄이 돼서 활짝 꽃들이 이렇게 개화하는 걸 그러니까 opening, like blossoming. Mm. And of course, there uh, is also another interesting contribution, one that is also widely known, uh, widely used to this day. Yes, and that is the three-course meal oh. comprised of starter, main dish, and dessert. Oh, 그리고 이 appetizer라고 하는 게 있잖아요. Mm-hmm. 근데 아마 그걸 아마 starter로 얘기했던 것 같아요. 그러니까 그 코스로 나오는 식사 이것도 바로 로마에서 비롯된 것이라는 걸 저도 미처 몰랐네요. 전체 요리가 있고 메인 요리가 있고 디저트까지 이어지고 있습니다. And there's an expression Rome wasn't built in a day. That is a very common 있잖아요. expression and 그렇죠. we use that when we're talking about projects that will take some time. 음, 그렇죠. 로마도 하루아침에 이런 뭐 세워진 것이 아니다라고 하는 것처럼 이렇게 여러 가지 로마가 오늘날 많은 세, 사람들에게 영향을 끼치고 있는 바가 상당히 크다는 거 알게 됐습니다. 네. And we also have the expression when in Rome. 맞아요. And that means that when you're in a particular country, you should behave or, uh, as the people do that live there. Exactly. Mm. 로마에 가면 로마 법을 따르라라는 말이 있죠. 그걸 when in Rome 
까지만 하면 as Romans do. Yeah. Do as Romans do. That's right. Yeah. When in Rome, 까지만 말하게 되는군요. Oh. So to put that in a context, let's say that my parents come to visit me mm. and I offer them some sort of unique Korean food. Maybe even the first time they tried kimchi. Oh. Well, they never tried it before, but they could say, well, when in Rome. Mm. And what that means is, I'm here, so I should eat what Korean people eat. Right. So mm. did they like it? They did like it. 아, they loved it. Yeah. 아이고, and my nephew loves it too. Oh. Yeah. 자, 그렇습니다. 자, 그 로마에 대한 이야기였고요. 자, 다음 두 번째 소식입니다. Now let's go to 1782, when another figure contributed to modern society with ideas and concepts that are still in use today. And he was German pedagogue Friedrich, uh, Friedrich Prebel. Mm, now, a pedagogue is another word for teacher, but one that is strict and formal. It usually implies the concepts and theories regarding the education of children. That's right. And that was Frebel's main contribution to history as he came up with the idea and concept of kindergartens, which is spelled in English with a T, not a D, despite its pronunciation. Yeah, this pronunciation sounds like D, right? Mm. Well, Frobel worked extensively in preschool child education, and he founded a care, playing, and activity institute for small children, which led to the creation of the World Kindergarten. Uh-huh. And he also designed the educational play materials known as Uh, Frebel gifts still widely popular today. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was my first job in Korea, as a matter of fact, working at a kindergarten. Really? Yep, that was my very first job while after I came to Korea. So did you realize that you were really good with children or... Through that, that experience, that was a very was it the opposite. It was an interesting learning experience for mm-hmm. me, that's for sure. But I remember my very first class. They were four years old, oh. and there were nine of them. Nine, okay. nine four-year-old children who had never been away from mom before, and it was a tough one for everyone involved. But, you know, after a couple of months, I got so close with them, and oh. I really enjoyed the experience. Yeah. Did they climb on you? They and... did, yeah. Oh. Every morning, they'd run up to me and give me a hug, and it was oh. great. Yeah, I still remember their some of their names, Jade and Chris, and Oh-mo. yeah, they're cute. I wonder where they are now. Oh, you didn't have any cut get. Yeah, yeah, 네. yeah, I'm sure they're cute. a huge fan of yours. Still. Yeah, I'll never forget that time. 네. Mm. 자, 오늘 아침 Today in History 함께 하고 계십니다. Right. And uh, how about some story about, uh, do you have a story about Bangkok? There? Oh, okay, sure. We can uh, throw in one more today. Okay. And uh, this time it goes to 1960. But I'll tell you what, why don't we listen to the song first? And oh, maybe, that's a great idea. Maybe we can talk about it when we come back. Sure. Here's this song from Tuck and Patty, Time After Time. And uh, shall we continue a little further with uh, Today in History? Have you ever been to Thailand, s o n t h i n Never. No. But I would love to. I've been there about three or four times really? now. And I've oh. only spent a little bit of time in the capital city of Bangkok. Mm. Uh, my impressions were it's very hot. Mm. Uh, it's very crowded. The traffic to me seems even worse than Seoul's traffic, I think. Traffic jam and yeah. congestion. However, the one thing that I thought was very similar to Seoul is that Um, you know, you can look left, I say this all the time, but you look to your left in Seoul and find an old palace, mm-hmm. and you look to your right and find a beautiful skyscraper. Bangkok is similar in that sense as well. Oh. It's the old mixed with the new. Uh, so I quite enjoyed my, my brief visit to Bangkok, Good. but it was on this day uh, that the capital of Thailand, Bangkok, they were founded. It was founded on this day in, in 1782. I see. Well, uh, we were just actually talking about this man who created kindergarten right before the song break, mm-hmm. but uh, this is another very monumental sort of event. And the city in itself existed since the 15th century. We're talking about the city of Bangkok here. Mm -hmm. And it was in the 18th century that the city, as we know it uh, now, was founded with the establishing of the city pillar, which is a type of shrine that houses the city spirit uh, deity. And we're seeing it on Bohinan Radio there. Oh, it's it's beautiful. It is very pretty. It's yellowish and kind of silverish from outside. Mm. Mm. Now, Bangkok, I'm sure we know that it's one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but the city was ranked as one of the tallest cities in the world. Tallest city. Well, as it boasts more than 100 skyscrapers over 100 meters tall, like Steve just mentioned. So there's 
beautiful harmony between the old and the new. Mm-hmm. And that's modern, uh, that's nothing compared to the city's official and ceremonial name. Right. Now, Bangkok's full ceremonial name is listed as the world's longest place name, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh. We won't be able to read the name, I guess, but its rough translation contains more than 25 words, not syllables, but words. You can see the picture of it on p o i n a n Radio there right now. And that's Bangkok's full ceremonial ceremonial name, name. right? Oh, 원래 저렇게 긴 이름을 딱 줄여서 Bangkok. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Good idea. Yeah. Thank you. That's Good a lot idea. easier, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty interesting, though. And I would recommend if you have the chance to visit Thailand and visit Bangkok, then yeah, it's a, it's definitely a, one of the cooler places mm. in the world to see. I've heard so many great things about the particular country, so I'd love to pay a visit to the country someday. You would not be disappointed, I'm sure. Mm. Uh, all right. So we're going to listen to another song break right now, and we'll have a little bit more in today in history after Beth Nielsen Chapman. All I have. So uh, let's keep talking a little bit more about the uh, Today in History. Yeah, one final event to share with our listeners today, and it was the founding of another capital city, as mm. a matter of fact. It was in 1960 uh, that uh, the city of Brasilia uh-huh. came to be, right? That's right. The city that we're going to be talking about a little bit more is Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, and it was inaugurated on this very day as the center of operation of the Brazilian government. Mm, Brazil, that's another place that I, I guess it's on my bucket list, I should say. Oh, I yeah. really uh, want to go there. I was there ready someday. to say, no, I haven't. Oh, uh, right. Uh. right. <laughs> no, I really want to go there someday. Well, prior to uh, Brasilia, the capital city was the famous Rio de Janeiro, mm. a role that it held from 19, oh, sorry, 1763 to 1960. So Rio was the capital of Brazil for a long, long, long time. 그렇죠. Rio de Janeiro, uh, 1763년부터 1960년까지 이제 그 이전에 수도로 mm. 자리를 했었고요. 이제는 브라질리아가 mm. 되는데 Nearly 200 years that Rio was the capital. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, so what else can we know about Brasilia? Well, Brasilia was built in a record 41 months. 41 months. That's not very long at mm-hmm. all. And it was chosen by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site for its modernist architecture. Less than four years, huh? To build the whole city. 그렇죠. My goodness. 네, 지금 어, 보이는 라디오를 통해서 화면으로 보여드리고 있습니다. 브라질리아의 곳곳에 지금 멋진 그런 건축물들을 중심으로 보여드리고 있는데 자, 저렇게 현대적인 건물들로 인해서 브라질리아는 유네스코 세계문화유산에 등재가 되기도 했다고 하네요. Okay, okay. well, we will hear uh, more from the city and the country because the World Cup is just around the corner, right? That's just right. a couple of months away now. Mm. So I'm sure... Everyone there is very excited about that. Right. Uh, yeah. So today we've been talking about like three main cities, uh, Rome and Brasilia and Bangkok mm. as well. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? The 그러니까요. three capital cities were founded uh, on this day. On this Monday morning on the morning special. We're going right. to go to uh, another song break. But before we do, we have to give the answer to the quiz that I gave you just a minute ago when mm-hmm. we started today in history. The question was, the word kindergarten comes from... You had two options, number one, Germany, or number two, France, and the answer was number one, Germany. Okay, we're going to listen to two songs in a row this Mm. time around. First, Joni Mitchell's Both Sides Now, then Bill Withers' Lean on Me.